continuing on with sustainability and today's Devo is called Ask For It. Psalm 51 might be one of the most quoted from chapters in the Bible because it's a prayer of repentance, asking for God's mercy, compassion, to blot out wrongdoings, to wash away sins, and the writer says his sins are always before him. We have sins like that too. Once when we have wronged another or sinned against our own bodies, we sometimes carry the results with us the entire time we're on the earth. He says he's done evil, that God is right in his verdict against sin. He notes that he was sinful from birth. But then he also notes that God desires faithfulness from sinful beings like us and that God taught him wisdom. He asked to be clean and washed, to be able to hear joy and gladness and to be restored. He then asks for a steadfast spirit and a pure heart, one that can be faithful to a God with a right hand that sustains. He says this, restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. If God will do that, David makes a promise to teach others like himself in God's ways so that they will turn back to God as well. And he acknowledges that sacrifices and offerings are not what God wants, but a rather a broken and contrite spirit. I find it interesting that God requires faithfulness from sinful beings like ourselves and calls us to righteousness when we have no goodness in us at all and we are prone to wrongdoing from the moment of birth. And when we sin or do wrong, we carry the guilt and the shame from those wrongdoings, and yet he tells us we don't have to carry them. He will take them to the cross and remove them from our shoulders so we can walk free. In other words, asking for a steadfast spirit and a faithful heart is a good thing to pray for. And asking for God's right hand to provide it is also a good thing because he sustains us. We cannot be faithful to a faithful God without his hand sustaining us. If we're about to cross a busy intersection with kids beside us, what's the first thing we do? We grab hold of their hands with our strong hands and we hold tight. But what do the kids do? They shake our hand and they try to shake loose from the first time they start to walk. Yet the father who has their hand requires their obedience that they walk alongside him to cross safely to the other side, literally staying alive from the traffic that's roaring. Sustainability is all about keeping things alive, clean water and sanitation, climate sustainability, all the things to enable our next generation to thrive on the earth. God sustains us so that we can respond in faithfulness and steadfastness to him. And without his sustaining hand, we'd surely walk into traffic and die. The writer asks for a restoration of joy, of salvation, and a willing spirit. There is literally no joy present when a father grabs a squirming kid's hand. Usually they're screaming and pulling away. And once the other side is reached, there's often a stern talk with that child about holding still and holding God, dad's hand. And that willing spirit? Well, kids often get worse in their teenager years searching for independence from a father's hand that sustains. And while yes, we are to train our kids to have them ready to leave home, it requires that our kids learn to be steadfast and faithful as a child to their father before they can face the world and remain steadfast to Father God. If kids aren't trained and taught the joy of a relationship with the father, if they don't see the protection and wisdom and the guidance of a father, that willing spirit won't be there. Grant me a willing spirit to sustain me, the writer pleads, and it's one of the best pleas we can make every morning. All day long we face traffic, so to speak, busyness and noise and danger that we too have to cross over and through multiple times a day. We have decisions to make. We have obstacles that we encounter. We need a rescue or a lift of peace or all sorts of things from sunup to sundown. And we can experience the joy of a willing heart that reaches out for the Father's hand, or we can squirm and stomp and miss the wonder of the safety as we cross. A crying child doesn't see or realize the danger of the cars coming toward him. He doesn't realize his life will end if the Father lets go. However, a wise young man or woman looks and sees the value of praying for a willing heart, a humble heart, a joyful experience in him as they navigate life, that is not sustainable in any way, shape, or form without the right hand of the Father. A willing spirit to obey is one of the most beautiful things present in a family unit and produces the kind of joy that's everlasting. Feeling the weight of the world, of your own shortcomings and failures, ask God to remove them and grant you a willing spirit and a pure heart to see his hand and grab it without pulling away to walk alone. Sustainability. 
It starts with these basics, the relationship, the humility, and it lasts a lifetime without melting, eroding, or being depleted ever when we ask for it.